Hello everybody, my name is Ugochi Uka and the name of this show is Young Women and Public Health. Well, I'm a biochemist and I also have a degree in public health, health services research, which is why I'm here because I'll, uh, um, I'll love to share with you some knowledge on public health which I've gained as well as personal experiences about um, public health, especially health relating to women and other people's experiences as well. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to just briefly say what public health is. Public health is, is the science and art of preventing diseases and protecting and improving health of the community through education, promoting healthy lifestyles and research of disease and injury prevention. So the main difference between public health and clinical practice is that, you know, in the medical practice you have the doctor and individual patients, while in public health you have the public health uh, specialist or public health worker and the community. So public health is population based, it's, it's more um, on prevention than cure, because we all know that prevention is better than cure. I mean, the the cost of what you, you take to to cure somebody of a disease is, is way more expensive than preventing diseases. So there are a lot of things, just simple things that we could do to prevent diseases. A lot of um, tiny things that we might not be aware of or might not know how far it could go in, in preventing um, ill health or adversely affecting our health. So that's, that's the main purpose of the show. I like to shed light on these issues. Um, also, especially on women. Now you may ask, um, why women? Why, why pub, um, young women? Well, basically, maternal health is, is a very important aspect of health. I mean, I'm, first and foremost, the the high rate of maternal mortality and morbidity globally is is, is overwhelming. A lot of women die every year, including young girls, of preventable diseases. And these these are simple things that could have been in, could have been prevented, maybe through awareness, such as access to reproductive health services. So women, um, maternal health is, is a very important aspect to look at. And again, we cannot overlook the role of women in the community today. The role of women as as um, homemakers, as child bearers, and there's been found a correlation has been found between maternal morbidity and child mo morbidity where basically if if a woman is is not um feeling too well or not healthy or dies then it also affects the children um a whole lot more so we we women have to take care of our health we have to to take care of ourselves not just for ourselves but for our families for our children because these children are leaders of tomorrow they are people that will contribute to human resources and help fight against poverty, which is one of the major goals, like of, of the Millennium Development Goals, actually. So that's why I would love to talk more about women and 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 public health. So um, subsequently, I actually intend to discuss, invite guests over, discuss with people about public health issues. If you want to be if you want to discuss, you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is just uh, contact me through Facebook, my Facebook link, which is showing on the screen, or follow me on Twitter, and just um, give give me some ideas or tips or topics, whatever you want to be discussed. So if you want to come um, over, I can meet you to discuss these issues. What I want basically to be done is first to critically analyze certain issues on health because when you look at things critically then you can see where these problems come from you can clearly identify the barriers and facilitators to to health promotion and then help this will help to improve health because some of these things is not like we don't know at all about it. it's not like we're not aware but sometimes we need motivation sometimes we are not sure how to go about taking care of ourselves and it will it, it, amaze, it, it amaze you how even health professionals sometimes make mistake, mistakes so I'll say that you don't have to be a health professional you don't have to have even studied health or anything like that if you really if you want to talk about this then you can you can just 
say you want to because everybody's prone to mistakes in fact um i like to talk about an incident that happened uh some time ago where i went out with some friends and and the toilet didn't have the washing hand basin there it was in a separate place and so the people when the one of my friends he i knew realized that he used the toilet but he didn't wash his hand and i asked him and he's a health professional i was like did you wash your hands and he's like oh, leave that thing and i was shocked because i was like this is somebody that should even know better so those are the kind of things where we 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 make a lot of mistakes we do things and we don't realize how far these things could go in preventing good health or preventing ill health on the other hand so i'd really love us to talk about this and uh, even simple things like um overweight and obesity which has been known to be risk factors for many so many other diseases These are preventable things because we know we, we can control the way we eat but a lot of us just choose not to sometimes i could just take a bowl of ice cream and eat and say it's my birthday or it's easter and i know that that bowl of ice cream could add so many calories to my my body which will not be healthy for me and it would take me at least like two weeks to even lose the weight i gained from it so so are some things we, we really need to look at as um women so I don't want to go too much into details right now um, in consequent shows I'll talk more about these issues about obesity, minimum development goals, um, reproductive health, breast cancer and things, other things that affect women and the society. Um, uh, so I'll, I'd like to take this time to thank you very much for listening and i hope you look forward to the other shows as much as i do and then i also look forward to receiving your comments and feedbacks about this on twitter or facebook you can just um google my name or type my name on facebook Ugochi Uka, which is on the screen and then get back to me please thank you very much once again and don't forget this show is young women and public health for me, I always say simplicity is the key to growth because simple things are the things that actually contribute to growth. You take one step at a time. Thank you and have a nice day.